So this is the Spider-Man room. Behind these drawers is known as being the greatest Spider-Man collection that exists in the world. So I have every single Spider-Man comic every appearance of Spider-Man in other comics, all the way up until about 10 years ago from the start, in mint condition. Yeah. When did you start collecting it? Um, well, I started collecting when I was a kid, so I literally have my originals in here, but they're all like beat up because I've read them a thousand times. Right, right. So I started collecting as an investment about 20 years ago. I think it was after Tony Hawk Pro Skater came out in 1998. <laughs> fell into a lot of money there obviously yeah. and uh, and I knew that they I had heard rumors that they were working on Marvel films and stuff so and I'm good friends with Stan Lee um, a lot of pictures of me and Stan around he came to my first video games live show at the Hollywood Bowl too wow. him Elijah Wood cause like Lord of the Rings had just come out yep, so he was yep. like the biggest name of course Liv Tyler was in the movie Elijah Wood's brother mm -hmm. uh, Zach Wood lived in San Diego because he worked for Midway when, when Midway was a thing down in San Diego. And I worked with that Midway when I was a recruiter. I've actually been to that office. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I, I worked on all their games. I did, uh, they did a Spy Hunter remake. Yep. I worked with them on that. They did the Midway Blitz. Collection. They, they did, did one of the Blitz, Blitz football for... Because they were doing a lot in Chicago as well, too, but yep. I was doing a lot of their San Diego stuff. Dang. So here you go. This is the Holy Grail for Marvel. This is Amazing Fantasy 15, first appearance ever of Spider-Man in mint condition. I also, I got Stan Lee and Steve Ditko, the artist, to sign the inside uh, covers. Wow. So I don't want to mess up the outsides, but... There's Spider-Man number one, first number two, first appearance of Vulture number three, first appearance of Doc Ock. And look at this, it's like it came off the press yesterday. Yeah. Shiny, Jeez. still got the gloss. First appearance of Sandman, first Doctor Doom, issue five, Lizard issue six, yeah, it just goes all life. And then once I finished Spider-Man, I started collecting all the other number one Marvels. So, uh, for example, X-Men number one, Fantastic Four number one, Ghost Rider number one, Captain, Captain America, America number one, Wolverine number one, Submariner number one, Iron Man number one, that's a big wow. one. Wow. Well, yeah, lots of Spider-Man stuff. Anything in particular that made you Cling to Spider-Man yes, over everyone else. Yes, this painting right. So this this issue right here, that's Spider-Man 121, mm -hmm. um, the death of Gwen Stacy. So when I was when I was seven or eight years old, they had a series. This came out, you know, before I was able to read. Mm -hmm. But they had a series called Marvel Tales, where they retold all of the original Spider-Man stories. And, um, and I have the full collection of those as well. But but that so so I was reading them for the first time, and when I was in the, in the mid seventies, that issue came out uh, through Marvel Tales, um, but it was Amazing Spider-Man one twenty one, and and one twenty two, and when Gwen Stacy died, I was a huge Gwen Stacy fan, and that was the first time in my life that I ever experienced death. So I, all my grandparents were alive. None of my friends or friends' parents had died. No aunts and uncles had died. I didn't even have any pets that died. You know, you're like seven, eight years yeah. old, right? So that emotion, that's when you so first felt it. I didn't know. Right? I didn't even know that there was a thing as death. So I didn't even have a goldfish who died at that point, right? <laughs> so yeah, so I think that probably has something. I, I was crying, I was crying, and, and it's like, being so emotionally attached to uh, Spider-Man. There's something to that, like with, with being, video games. Yeah, too. yeah. And that's what we're bringing back. That's the whole idea behind, you know, Miko to bring back that 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 feeling you had when you were a young kid and playing games with your friends and bringing your family and together. You know? it doesn't exist. Anymore. No, something magical about it for sure. <laughs>